I'm having some real issues here with my camera. I haven't shot a vlog in a long time, but there's this part right there on the video where it looks, I think it's the reflection of my refrigerator. I think that's what it is. But as I'm looking, see, I, I have the camera where when I'm shooting videos, it's on this shallow. <laughs> no, but when I'm shooting videos, this is too loud. Hold on. When I'm shooting, um, which of course I love this song, um, I have the, what's it called, feedback or, you know, the camera so I can see myself, which is helpful because that way I don't shoot a whole vlog like this. Blah, 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 blah. Be centered. Uh, getting my nails done today, so some people go, Carrie, how can you always wear those fake nails? This is why. My hands look like I'm four years old. Except for, you know, I'm 45 and I have wrinkles. Um, here's the other thing, too. So I think that's what it is. At first, when I started shooting, um, very not used to not having the bangs, but a friend of mine, who is one of my new favorite people, told me, you should really think about growing your bangs out. So they're at this really awkward stage where they're like right here. And when I push them over to the side, I know this is important, earth shattering stuff you need to know. When I push them over to the side, um, it's just like this little string hanging there and it looks so dumb. So I kind of pulled it back and that said, I turned my camera on and since there's this fuzz, it's like a glare. You might not see it. By the time you watch this video, you're going to be like, what is up with her? No, I'm not in the sauce yet, although I plan to in a few hours. Um, was I making a point? Oh, so it looked like I had some kind of filter on my camera, and I really don't use a filter because I try not to like airbrush myself and um, make myself look perfect on videos and pictures so that when people meet me in person, they're like, yo, whoa, that's a lot differently than I saw you online. So there's that. Anyway, so you guys, I have, as usual, a bunch of stuff on my counter as well as my leftover egg whites, which are very sexy. But I will say, here's, uh, let's use this vlog to be the first three minutes until when I originally said I was going to come out here and shoot videos. It was 10 a.m. and I said I was going to finish all of them by 11. It's three minutes till 11. I spent a little bit too much time contouring myself. Actually, I didn't do the cheeks, so. I learned so much stuff from all these YouTube girls. Anyway, so um, let me give you a quick update and then I am going to, I'm going to have to shoot some of my videos um, and then get my butt to work because my team is probably like, I'm calling and no one's answering right now. I'm doing important stuff, people. So um, let's update you on a couple things, several things actually. And then um, this will be a typical ramble on a thon and then some of my other videos, you get to see what's on my counter. Okay, I just made the dumbest face and I, it just happens, people. I can't help it. Sometimes I break out and go. So, um, Egg whites, what am I eating lately? Oh, I don't know. I gotta look back. I really haven't shot a video in a while. So I don't know if the last time I shot my video I had started my um, 90 day, my own 90 day challenge. Perhaps I had, perhaps I had. Um, one of my next videos I will show um, what I put up on my office wall. Um, my office is probably messy right now, and I'm not going to do a video there. But I made this very rudimentary um, plan. It's just like I use scrap paper, um, and I have 90 days laid out, and every day I'm putting up there the things that I need to track. Am I drinking my water? Am I getting my stretches in for my calves three times a day? Um, am I on target with my food. Did I get my cardio in? Did I do yoga that day? Did I get my lifting in? Because, you know, as I said in some of my last videos, it was helpful for me. It's very helpful from keeping track and accountability, but also motivating myself. You know, a lot of you guys write to me and go, how do you stay motivated? Well, a couple of things. I want to be able to fit in my shorts and not have to wear a corset in the middle. Um, but um, when, I'm, when I'm on point, 
and I'm, I'm in the flow, nothing can stop me. Sometimes the hardest part, you guys, it's for anybody. I don't consider myself a, a pro, um, but I, I'm around a lot of professionals, professional trainers, celebrity trainers, um, uh, you know, some of the most buff athletes you'll know, and everybody has off times. Figure competitors, bodybuilders, whatever, they have times when after they've competed, you know, they pig out, they gain 20 pounds, and then that's why sometimes you see them and you're like, wait a minute, I saw you on the cover of Oxygen Magazine and you had a six pack. That's very difficult to achieve on a regular basis. If you want to have a six pack, people just figure out what reality is. Like when you really want to look that ripped, you do not get to eat anything. You don't get to eat like Quest bars and, and stuff like that. You don't get to um, have wine every weekend. There are some people, yes, but very few. I digress as usual. Um, so I created my 90 day plan because for me, I wanted to see 90 days in one place. It's one thing for me to have that calendar in my mudroom where every day I write my workout, how many calories I burned, how I rate my workout from three to five stars. If it's below three, I need to just go back and do some more. Um, three to five stars, and then that way, you know, every every day in my head, I know what that calendar looks like. It's April 16th, April 17th maybe. I know what my calendar looks like, that it is a consistent stream of activity every day. Now, told you guys before, you know, one of the things in the first quarter, there were so many things in the first quarter, um, but I never have a problem getting my cardio in, and I've told you guys that. I Not only do I enjoy it, I really do. I mean, when someone goes, you don't need to do a lot of cardio, I'm not like, oh, awesome! I'm like, I mean, I really like cardio. I'm one of those few people. I love kickboxing, I love running, I love um, things like turbo fire, I guess that's more kickboxing. I've always loved Tybo, I haven't done that in years. Um, in fact, I wanna go to this, I forget what it's called. There's a boxing place down the street, so I want to do that. I've made a list of all of the things that I've been saying I want to do for years, and this year I'm doing it. Um, so I put up my 90-day plan every day. I write down, I've color-coded it, it's very nerdy, um, but I write down every day what I'm doing. Now, here's the thing. I've been on this, um, you know, my, my new diet um, that is actually <laughs> being managed by somebody who doesn't say they're a trainer but isn't a trainer and actually isn't trying to feed me like a horse. Um, I had kind of some inappropriate people in the past doing some training for me. I've learned a lot of lessons. But anyway, um, the first two weeks, and I didn't expect this. So what I'm telling you is I didn't go in and go, oh, I hope that in two weeks I'll lose this many inches and, and I'm for the moment I'm not weighing myself. Um, and that's about mindset. But um, I went and I just could feel such a difference. I could feel it. I could feel it in my middle. And I've told you guys, my middle is where I've, especially during this injury, before the injury, sure, before, you know, I was uh, not able to run and do, or I was told um, erroneously, not to do cardio, not to do any, um, any plyo, cardio, running, or uh, yoga. Uh, so for about four or five months there, um, I was kind of strategically on the bench and then upset and yada yada yada. But um, what was the point I was making? Uh, when I gained weight, and I did, I took my measurements when I got ready to do this, you know, get back on track, you're, you're okay to do cardio, you're okay to do yoga, you're, you're healed, all of this stuff, let's take it seriously, let's hit it hard for 90 days, let's track everything. Um, you know, when I, I'm still losing my train. Um, I wanted to put it all in 90 days. Golly, you guys! See, I get off on a tangent. I'm so much like my mom. Um, 90 days. Um, oh, my measurements. Uh, I took my measurements at the beginning, and part of me was scared, but you know, it's like facing things. You, you, you have to face it and stop fearing like it's this gargantuan and I did that all in my past and I it was it's a it's a it's almost if you think about it I'm reading a book on this um, who care I don't care if you think this is too Oprah or whatever but it's really a form of shaming you know because if you think about it I'm, I'm thinking about my mindset in the past it's like I I didn't want to get on the scale I didn't want to measure myself why because I thought whatever it says if it says something that is not you know, oh, you have a 14-inch waist. I'm joking, people. Someone will take me seriously and think that I 
am aiming for that. Um, you know, I thought, I'm not going to measure up. I'm not going to be good enough and whatever. And it's this fear of, you know, who's, who's going to tell you that? I mean, let me tell you something. Growing up, I would always see articles about people with 25-inch waists. I've never had a 25-inch waist. I don't think I had a 25-inch waist in high school. I never will have a 25-inch waist. However, when I did uh, take my measurements, try to stay somewhat on point here, um, when I did take those measurements, um, it was... Basically, the measurement showed me exactly what I felt. I had been saying to Debbie and Courtney, I was like, all the weight that's happened over the past, you know, since since the injury and since I stopped everything, I could feel I could feel it. I could see it. I just could feel I was thick. That's what I kept saying. I'm thick in my middle, you know. And I would still, when I was doing my cardio, I would notice, you know, my legs were leaning out or whatever, but nothing around my middle. I gained two inches on my waist. So I measure my waist in three areas, where your actual waist is, and then I go kind of like, there's one level down, so I call it upper hips, and then I measure right above the bump where my booty starts to pop out. I measure that, that's like hips number two for me. And then I take a measurement where I stand with my legs closed and I measure around my booty um, in front. So I kind of measure my hips in three areas. Um, because that's where I carry my fat, is if you look at me from the side, I look one way. If you look at me from the front, that's, it seems like that's where I gain it. I just get, you know, whatever. Um, but what was interesting about the first two weeks of utter consistency, and still not where I want to be yet as far as, um, I would say the first two weeks, I've been closer to like three days of lifting versus really want to stay four to five days of lifting and lifting heavy. Um, I lost an inch and a half, and then one day it looked like I had lost an inch and a quarter, excuse me, an inch and three quarters. Now, I measured yesterday, and it was back to an inch and a half. And of course, I'm not gonna lie, I somewhat flipped out about it, um, and ate a Quest bar, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out about myself. Why do I have this moronic thought of, Oh my gosh, I'm so angry, so I'm gonna eat something that's what I'm not supposed to eat. I'm addicted to Quest Bars, but let me tell you, I need to not eat Quest Bars for a little while. I need to be sticking to what I'm sticking to, and then, you know, expanding my macros a little bit. But anyway, all that said, um, I've calmed down, today's a new day, I got up, and um, I'm sticking with it. And the good thing about seeing the whole 90 days in my office is, this is like such a mental thing, you guys, but I got to keep thinking of the progress I made last year. It, it, it wasn't, it didn't take me, if you recall, it didn't take me until June last year. And remember, it was a couple of months when I, you know, in, in the beginning it was tough because I wasn't seeing or feeling anything. And then all of a sudden it was like every week, even though the scale wasn't saying what I wanted it to. I'd be going down by like a fourth of a pound, not a fourth of a pound, maybe. Um, 0.5 of a pound, so a half a pound, whatever. So the, the scale was not showing what was what I could see in myself. But all that said, if I want to make this difference in 90 days, I have to constantly be aware of, here's where I'm at, 90 days. So I'm two weeks in. You know, you can't, I don't know if you're like me, I have this tendency to, you know, even though I know it, I can still get in a, oh, I've had a bad day, I just got on flow. You know, I'm just gonna kind of take it easy and then I'll really start again on Monday. And if you keep doing that and you're not really looking at how close you're getting, sorry, I should do that so it's in here. If this is your, your thing, your 90 day window, and you keep giving up and you're not kind of making yourself aware every day of that 90 day window, all of a sudden, you know, you're a month in and you're like, oh, if you're not aware, you're not thinking about it. You're not looking at the fact like, whoa, a month's down, I've got two months. Like, you don't wanna have to sprint and certainly I don't plan on you know starving myself or doing anything stupid. Um, so that said, it has to be consistent and that's what I, I'm, I'm very nicely, what's the word I'm looking for? I was almost gonna say pleasantly surprised, but I shouldn't be surprised. Um, I kind of feel like I put on an old jacket. Um, I'm, back in, I'm back in the mood. I'm, that's not the word I meant to say. I'm back in my mode. I, I've got my game face on and I'm seeing like, Certainly it wasn't that I wasn't training before, but taking it up a notch in two weeks of, you know, sticking to, you know, what, what Vic is telling me is appropriate for me and, and the diet and the stretching and the water and the exercise, exercise, 
I'm rambling today. Um, my body responds to what I know. My body responds when I have cardio. My body responds when I'm lower carb. My body responds, um, you know, when I eat more, actually, you know. I can see now, now that I'm eating, which is, it's not my favorite, you guys. It's not my favorite thing to do five, six meals a day. When I eat more, that's when I lose weight. When I was getting thick around the middle, it's so easy for me now to see that very realistically, I was not eating enough, you know, and that is my number one problem. In fact, yesterday, which is when I told you guys I took my, my measurement and I had the, the Quest Bar thing, yesterday was the first day in a long time I'd done the thing where I wasn't, I got up myself and wrapped and work and, is that even a word, wrapped? Wrapped up in work, let's say, um, and I didn't come out of my office for like a four or five hour period. Then I came out here and it's hungry and I didn't feel like heating anything up. And so I fell into an old habit. And that is what I did a lot of during that six months is really not eating enough. And now I know my body's like, oh, hell no, girl, get you some food and eat like a normal person. So I'll be eating this and opening up. I have to go get to work. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you like the no bangs thing. I've got to figure out how I do that in the meantime.